What's up, Foo Podcast? What's up, everybody? Woo. Look over there. We have the star, co-star of the hot show on Hulu, This Foo. Hell yeah. yeah. Tengo Michelle miedo. Ortiz, Tengo what's miedo. up? <laughs> Tengo miedo. How you doing? I'm good, man. Stoked to be here. Yeah, Rodrigo Welcome. Torres right here. Hey, Casari, how hey, you doing? Hey, how's it going? Summertime. Martin Rizzo right here with his crew cut. Right here, going to the army. G.I. <laughs> James, bro. <laughs> he and <Biloxi> Blues. <laughs> Old school. What's up? Hey, welcome. Thanks, welcome, man. everybody, on the chat room right there, bro. What, what's their names? Right here, man. And copy down, like always. Mike Fartner, awesome. Reco Sanchez, El Cibernético, and Dizzy Def, Michael Leon, Jesus Navarrete. Familiar names, what you see on the chat. El Cibernético, damn. That's a hardcore <laughs> name. Yo soy del futuro. He's serious. <laughs> <clears throat> Who's crying there right now? Who's talking <laughs> shit? See, who's, uh, who's, uh, <laughs> right money. away or what? You want me to throw hands? I'll throw yeah. hands. Rizzo. Get in a couple licks. Rolling out <clears throat> dad's grass. Oh, these, oh these are old chats? What's going on here, bro? Is this a phone from the future or what? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? He's reading from the future. It's jaded, dog. I know. I guess, I guess people were commenting when uh, the intro was going on. I should put up people who, like, who say they're, they're your fan, but they're no shit about you, like... I got an email from this fan in Lancaster that always emails me. Like, I guess they used to watch the show when it was free. So I'm going to say something right now. Say it, Doug. If you supported my comedy back in the days, Tuesday through Thursdays, and they were giving you free tickets, you never really supported me, man, because you got in for free. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Supporting me is buying a ticket and buying my bootleg CD at the end of the show. Being part of a of a of a of a guest list is not supporting somebody. You gotta be away from the guest list to support somebody. You gotta buy the ticket. You gotta watch the shows. You gotta tell people, hey man, go watch this show. This one is bomb. I, I see a lot of people out there, bro, who's who produce shows, a lot of Latino shows that's been on the air. I didn't see one of them share who this fool, bro. I don't want to say their names, Ooh. but I'm watching you right now, bro. And you're gonna want me. <laughs> you're gonna out. want me in six months to promote your show. I'm gonna say, nah, man. You're gonna email me. Oh, you don't support the Latinos? Yeah, bro. I support Latinos. If they're funny. I'm not gonna support shows that suck. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna support shows that are woke. Yeah. I want to think about a lot of shows that that's different from this food. Like it's not on. This food is unapologetic, bro. Yeah, they're not scared. That's too, what like- I like. It yeah. was like from the from the get go, bro. They show a, a psycho ass ex, <clears throat> like the one that everybody's been with. La Toxica. <laughs> <laughs> La to- La Toxica. Nailed it, huh? But there's gonna be little girls dressed like Michelle Ortiz from this fool for Halloween. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. They're gonna walk around um, burning cars. Hell New yeah. costume. Hell yeah. <laughs> They're borrowing cars. No, I made it a point to like show up to set with that red hair and the fucking Betty Page bangs because I wanted her look to be super iconic. Hell but, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so nice. this person, bro, like Never been to a show, right? But they've been to the show with Benny Mana. How long ago was that? Never bought merch. How long ago was that, Benny Mana? 20 uh, like, years? 17 years? 18 years? They, 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 got me, they sent me the email, man. If we want to book you, oh, well, man. should we just call you right now? And I'm going to just say right now, man. No proper channels or what? Listen to me, you, <laughs> you hood rat from Netcaster. <laughs> if you're a fan of me, you should know by now where you're at. That I'm not going to do your backyard party. For 10 people of overweight Mexicans eating barbecue <laughs> and fucking lawn chairs sinking to the ground. Depends on the barbecue, though. Nah, fuck that. I was <laughs> done. I'm done. I'm over. done, bro. Yeah. I am done. Last what you did was when you were on Last Going Standing. Remember the house in Downey? Yeah. Oh, and, then that fool trying to, and then that fool trying to get him the next year. All right, bring him again. How much does he want? My fee's ten thousand, dog. Is he fucking crazy? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, dude, what do you want me to say, bro? And like you know, you know how to, you know how to tell these people, listen, you idiot. <laughs> you know, but then you don't yeah, want to tell them what you've been on because then they think, oh, he's Hollywood now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's it called? Some people just don't know. You know, they think like you're still gonna like be like the same as you were. You know, like fucking like ten years ago. Like, oh, he used to come and do like, you know the bar shows. He's still down. Or somebody hits me up. Oh, cause we had concrete live in our living room. <laughs> <laughs> now that's another story, my friend. I said, Concrete Live, come on, bro. That foot in the, he's uh, he's in the beginning stage of stand-up comedy. Yeah, man. He's gonna say yes to everything. Hey, you wanna do our, you wanna do our backyard, um, you wanna do our dealership? <laughs> yeah. 
But the whole thing is somebody's your fan. They know everything. It's like the people that get duped by like the fake artists. It's like, yeah. I thought you were a fan. You know who this fool is, dog. We had Gordo Mamon last week. Oh, my God, bro. I'm sorry for you, dog. <laughs> or or when uh, when people, uh, what's it called, comment, and they say, uh, what's it called? What the fuck was I going to say? That one thing. This guy commented know, something. ¿Qué dijo? ¿Qué dijo? ¿Qué dijo? ¿Qué dijo? ¿Qué dijo? The comment went away. Anyway, Felipe yeah. knows his worth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Felipe knows his worth. If you don't know campus law, then you're not a real fan. Damn, oh, for real. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, it's like when, when, law, when people dude. they say they they follow you, they're your fan, and they're like, "Hey, when, when are you gonna come to San Jose?" And I'm like, San Jose was last week. Last week, you idiot. <laughs> there's always there's always fans like that. Like I didn't know that. I tell you, when are you gonna come to Merced, bro? I'm at Merced right now. You stupid idiot. <laughs> <laughs> How, how how old are you? Are you on MySpace right now? Where are you at? <laughs> Friendster. The, the news get to MySpace late. <laughs> I'm on Vine. Well, look, you, it, you try to tell them to watch this food. Like, what channel is it? Oh, oh my when god! When you ask questions like that, I, I just say goodbye. <laughs> you know they're about streaming now. Or they ask me stuff like, um, what channel is it? Or how could I watch it? Or I try to give this. I, I, when I was coming, out, I was walking um, around 7 a.m. in San Jose on Saturday morning. And I saw this dirty ass fool, right? <laughs> and he looked, so Felipe, dumb. I'm a big fan, bro. His face looked like he would he slept on a wall, bro. Damn. Like, he had like, a, like I, I've slept on walls, many walls, many floors. <laughs> so I know when somebody face has been in a wall for a long time so wally in the floor no he was because on the wall. the wall he was leaning the wall, like yeah, this. The, wall. Oh, so the head had never the made the floor huh? yeah he like he, he had that that the, the brick you know with the bricks separate? the imprint he had the imprint bro like he was it looked like the wall landed on him it looked like macaulay Cogan threw a fucking you brick it. i'm a big ass fan bro i just came out of jail right now all right man that's good <laughs> i'm on my way back to fresno and i said how are you gonna get back he goes, i don't know <laughs> And I said, all right, man. So I, 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 I took money in my pocket. I said, here, man, go home. He goes, when are you going to be in Fresno? He goes, I'm going to be in Fresno in two weeks, stupid. <laughs> then he goes, um, well, give me, give me some tickets. I said, motherfucker, I just gave you a bus fare oh, to get to Fresno. Gosh, dude. So Send a limo, bro. So I said, all right. I said, yeah, man. There'll be tickets for you in the front. But I don't have an ID. And I said, well, man, I can't. Well, they'll be there, bro. If you, if you get an ID in two weeks. Your tickets will be there. Wait, I was there with you. That fool wanted me to meet him outside, bro. Jeez. The day of what the show. What the fuck is going on here, That's bro? That's what I'm saying, dog. <laughs> I was like, Sneak. damn, bro. I, how are you going to be a big fan if I'm going to give you money to get back to Fresno when you came out of jail and I'm going to give you fucking free tickets, but you don't have a fucking ID, so you want me to go out of my way and meet you outside? What else do you want, bro? You want me to fuck your chick, too? Give him yeah. a massage for it's like, it's like, <laughs> like sneaking me into your own show. <laughs> like, hey, hey, fool, it's better to almost get those fools at work and have a job when you're like when you're traveling. Like that fool that was driving us in the shuttle. Yeah, my my Felipe Esparza fool. I'm on Netflix. Oh yeah, big fan. <laughs> 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 and you, you you cut to the chase, bro. But what's up with these fools, dog? Pinche limosneros, dog. Have you ever asked someone like, "What's what's your favorite joke of mine?" Then, uh, uh, oh, uh, that's uh, a good one. Hell bro. no, man, because I don't have no time. <laughs> <laughs> the knob from the oven, bueno, bro. Bueno, they'll, bueno, they'll, they'll probably won't even know the Classics. joke, just the punchline. <laughs> that's hilarious. Fuck, oh, dude. <laughs> I wonder if Ozzy ever got this. Oh, fool, please, dog. He bit a bat, fool. You uh, need to walk around with the fly swatter, Or Tom fool. Cruise. Hey, Tom Cruise, you know what kind of movie you're going to start? Because I want to get nachos. <laughs> Can hey, you give me money to hey, get fool. to your show, or to your movie? I heard that that fool, that you can't even go up to him and look him in the eyes and shit. They'll shoot you? Well, they'll just, you can't even get to him like that, dog. Because he's five foot two, and <laughs> you, you don't want people him, to huh? know his size. Yeah. I'll squint. Huh? Where's tacones, bro? Yeah. Like right now, I'm pretty sure everybody that thinks they know Frankie Quinones or Chris Estrada or anybody in the show. So said thanks. Hey, bro, I'm a cholo. <laughs> I have a daughter that could play a role. <laughs> Put Get my daughter in there, in big there. dog. She's our last hope to keep the house. <laughs> she has dude. bangs too. <laughs> <laughs> She's got red hair too. Shout out to um, Eris Spears, bro. He finally spoke out. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. On the whole allegation? Yeah. Wait, wait, ¿qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? Oh, Aries Spears? Aries Spears and Tiffany yeah. Haddish, they, they're, they, they're, uh, be, they're being taken down by the, by the powers of social media right now. <gasps> Cancel culture. Over a, over a sketch, unfunny sketch, they did in 2018 or 2016. An but anyways, movie. regardless of what the sketch, it's out there already. If you ever want to go see it, if you want to take your, throw in your two cents in. Yeah, is it bullshit? It's okay. up to you guys. It's all real. And, um, but 
Aaron Spears um, video is funny. He goes, he goes, yeah, man, I knew my career was done even before that video came out. But it was funny, man. You gotta see it. You see it? No, no, no. No, I don't know. I don't know about this drama, but he came back on Mad TV and uh, oh, did yeah. a Cosby sketch. Yeah. Oh, were you were on it? Yeah. She was on Mad okay. TV. The, the reboot? The yeah. reboot, right? The... Yes, sir. 2016. Damn. Nobody so knew about it. That means, because uh, Mad TV originally ended in 2009, I Did remember. you know what? Yes, it got yeah. canceled. More people knew about that Mad TV reboot than the Living Color reboot. So. Oh, oh I forgot. Did that thing Because I knew it was on Mad TV because Vince Hoshana was in it, right? Who? Vince Soshana. And uh, Angela Johnson, Vincent. right? Vin, no, she was in the Mad TV when it ended. Uh, but she came back to guest star. Yeah, that, that one. Okay. Isn't that Armenian dude from the, from the haha there? Vince Soshana. It was. Vince Soshana? Do you mean Amir K? Amir K was on Amir it. K, yeah. Adam, Adam Ray. Ray. Okay, he wasn't all right. Adam Ray, Adam K. Uh, um, Amir K. Adam who casted it? All the K's, Michael. bro. All the K's, yeah. K, we? K, 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 K. Lyric. Damn, I'm blanking on her name. Uh, Carly Craig and the old cast Chelsea made uh, made cameos, right? Yes. So Angela Johnson came back and did Bonquiqui, and Ari Spears came back and did Cosby. Will Bobby Sasso. Lee, right? Came Bobby back. Lee yeah. came back. Yeah, that's cool. That's also kind of why we were doomed, because everyone wants to see the original cast. Nobody yeah. wants to see the fucking rookies. I know, man. That's, that's weird. weird. And I think also, hey, like- we're gonna do a spin off <laughs> of of um, everybody loves Raymond with uh, the brother Ray, but yeah, yeah. But <laughs> the grandma, the mom's gonna show up every once in a while. Yeah, yeah. and so is Ray. I remember watching it in 2016. <laughs> I think it was like on a weird, uh, it was like Tuesdays or what? It was time CW slots? Tuesday after Damn, like Riverdale C-dub. or some shit. So Riverdale. Damn. Oh. That show's still going on. Yeah. Yeah, dog. A that show sh- like Riverdale, but Riverdale? obviously we <laughs> don't I didn't even know, know what our that's about. That's about the Archie. It's about Archie. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I saw it one I'm time. I'm you know it's what it's about. It's said Archie. It is. Yeah, it is. It is. It's an Archie comic book, but in real life. Yeah, I didn't know that, bro, till I started watching it. And I said, wait a minute, that fool is like Jughead. But then I saw it, I goes, is this a mystery? And I said, nah, it's too much. Turn it off. Like okay, the Hardy again. Boys yeah. part two. Oh. Uh, <laughs> la Veronica se mira buena. <laughs> 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 That's good, man. But yeah, dude, Matt TV, man. I, yeah. I saw it in a... It was like one season, right? The reboot? It was just eight episodes, yeah. We oh, got canceled shit. right away. Damn, dude. Were you guys fans of like Mexican sketch shows? Like Eugenio Derbez? Yeah. His stuff? Yeah. El Laura Pico. Uh-huh. Yeah, all that shit, dude. We, I grew up on those shows, but when I was a little kid in the early 80s, we used to watch Los Polivoces. And we used to watch Carabina, Carabina de Ambrosio. Uh huh. And <clears throat> Chiquilladas. Woo! Woo! Chiquilladas was like, S, was, like a, was like SNL, but with nothing but kids. Like, um, it, was like, it was like Nickelodeon, all that. Oh, really? But Sounds fucking awesome. funnier. Hell yeah. 100 times funnier. And the kids actually did adult theme sketches they really? were not doing um they weren't doing kid sketches oh, is that yeah. when chiqui dracula yeah, was born chiqui dracula Ooh, i caught the tail end of that stuff that sounds tight you never got to see it uh-uh Check it out. look it up fill up chiquilladas 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 <laughs> but chiquilladas <laughs> was a spinoff of carabina de ambrosio uh-huh. carabina de ambrosio was Esa uh, sí me la sé. Was a show with two comedians. Yeah. While the the chiquilladas was exactly the same sketches or the same characters, but for with kids, because they had the Dracula too. Oh, that's hilarious. There it goes right there, chiquilladas. That that that, 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 that may be the reboot, the the one in the blue oh. photo. God damn, we gotta stop with these but, goddamn reboots. It's all reboot. But um, most of the characters that were on that show, they're like in their late forties now. I'm watching the show, uh, the sketch show, Bienvenidos. Ooh, no me it was on Channel 34, and it was kind of like, it was edgy. It was bro, like, those polivoces was real edgy, bro. They were fucking, they were fucking blackface sometimes. No. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they, they had a sketch where um, Eduardo, he used to put out a, a big afro, and he was blackface, and he was like a disco dude, and he, and he goes, he'd be like, let me tell you, man. But even more like a Puerto Rican dude. It was fucking <laughs> hilarious. Cause I, I seen a, I seen some of those sketches, but there were a lot of like chasing like Benny Hill, chasing women in like uh bikinis and shit. That was the end of the show. Yeah. At the end of the show, they would chase women. That was that, that Bienvenidos. There was a guy that, with like really poofy remember. hair and he would always go like this and like uh like, like, like a, a flasher. flasher? A fly- that, that that was a character, a flasher. That was like funny back then. Yeah, now yeah. that's what it's it. funny now, bro. Now you think it's funny. Carabino <laughs> <laughs> yeah. de Ambrosio was kind of like a, a, a remake of that popular English show from the seventies. Um 
Yeah, it was like a variety. Laughlin, laugh, the Laughlin show. Oh no, sir. It was called. It was called La- Laughing, Laughlin, Laughing with who, Lisa? Laughing with Rowan and Martin. Rowan and Martin laughing, and uh, and, um, and they had a Goldie Hawn shoe like the hottie of the show, and then Carabina de Ambrosio was the two guys, and they had a hottie of the show too, and they had a guy, they had a guy that showed up with a, with a fucking chicken face, and she was saying, "See, you can see." Damn, that just says right here, Rowan and Martin's laughing, 1967. Yeah, wow. so Carmen Ambrosio was the Spanish version of that. Uh-huh. And Didn't they have like a vedette? Yeah. Mexicana they were just like bailarina. There... And they would throw in um, one-liners like in Hee Haw, like real quick jokes. You know, like they do the, you know how Gervais does the, um, they, do stand, they do comedy inside the classroom? Oh, yeah, you oh, mean like a, yeah. um, uh, la, 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 Escuelita, Escuelita, uh-huh. Escuelita, 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 Escuelita comedy no. that's been around since the 1900s. Um, and you can find out more about that on the History for Fools podcast with yeah. Felipe Spars and Bush Escobar as we tackle the history of stand up comedy uh, in the future. But yeah, Escuelita comedy Escuelita, that's been yeah. around since the fucking 1900s, bro. They used to actually bring chairs on stage and they perform these. Escuelita sketches. Is that what? That's I remember that show. I was watching that like twenty years ago. But I guess that's why the, a lot of characters in like you know like Mexico like they play little kids like Chavelito. Yeah. And oh, kid. that's right. Yeah. Maybe like that. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's all sketch character acting. Yeah. And they're all like in their thirties with like you know what I mean yeah. like playing little kids. That Chilindina, she was like fucking yeah, fifty. She's playing like, all makeup. divorced yeah. onto her second marriage. Yeah. History for Fools Podcast this Sunday. Check Hell it out. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. That's so when you, when you, uh, when you, how'd you get started? How'd you get on Mad TV? Oh my God, Mad TV. Uh, I had never done sketch comedy before. I did the CBS Diversity Showcase that same year in 2016, and that's where the casting director saw me for Mad TV. So that's how I got it. But it was crazy because that same year. I had a little interest from SNL, but it was all bullshit because I was like, damn, I have the opportunity to be the first Latina on SNL. But then that year, Melissa Villasenor got it, which was amazing. Yeah, Yeah, and then I got Mad TV. Yeah. That year, they saw a lot of people. They saw you too, right? I sent in a video that you guys hooked up. And Frank Quinones too. Oh, I remember that Quinones got like an actual audition though. Nice. Yeah, no, they were like, yeah, we'll see her in New York. And then crickets. But it's crazy to think about that, huh? Like growing up, Eugenio Derbez, I didn't realize was like, a really big yeah. influence for me. A long time ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That show he did back in the... That was before La Familia Peluche. It was, uh-huh. What the fuck was it called? Como se it was a funny-ass sketch show. It was just like... It was just him. To, it was him doing all the characters. He used to play a devil and he used to, do like, pull, uh-huh. he used to pull cranks and it would be like fail videos. Like yeah. what people watch now, you know? It was yeah. funny, dude. That's crazy. Because I didn't hear about him until he started like blowing up over here. Oh, and too. That's US? crazy. Yeah. I don't yeah. want to be all like, fuck, oh yeah, I was all into it before. I was like... I didn't hear about him until he did that movie. Wait, yeah, that, Jack and Jill. No, the other little girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, oh, La Luna. Where's married to the the white lady, the white chick. Yeah, oh. and they have a little girl. Oh, yeah, 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 that one. That was like the first like big movie they're like pumping what? up here. Yeah, it's trust not include. I didn't know yeah. him till that. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. That's what I and first I didn't know about. No, son Mexicanos. We're not. <laughs> no. We're Mexican American. I live in America, <laughs> and I, I didn't even know how much Chaparro was, bro. Till I met him at that movie. Ooh. We did a movie together, and I didn't know he was. He was um, that dude we're talking about, best friend. Like a big ass Mexican star, hell yeah, dude. Like almost Chaparro is a big ass star in Mexico. Yeah, yeah he's he's big, dude. So they just parlay that shit over here, dude. He hangs out with all those fools, like I think that are best and all those all those guys. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, I, I stopped watching. Um, once I'm once um, I stopped living with my mom or hanging out with my mom. I fucking turn off Spanish TV, bro, forever. <laughs> Same no here, more 52, yeah. channel yeah, 34. Yeah, Same yeah. here. Because you're forced because there's only one TV. <laughs> only one TV, bro. You're forced <laughs> to watch crap, eh? <laughs> Sábado Gigante. Gigante. Sábado yeah. Gigante. Fucking that, soccer. Sure. Time to go to sleep, bro. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Once yeah. the Noticias started, bro, it was time uh, to go to sleep. <laughs> I remember one time my dad um, my dad would let us watch the TV, bro. Once the, t- once the t- fucking channel ended and then my dad was watching TV, and something else was gonna start. Um, just did this just in, right? Coming up right now. And I went like this. Who gives a fuck? Oh, in no. Spanish, dog. Oof. My dad got mad. Cause he, like I guess some some informative news was coming in. Y ahora, directo. Me vale madre, wey. Oh. Channel 13. And you like can hear it. 
Jorge, yeah. right? Jorge and Ramos had black hair back then, dude. <laughs> Jorge and Ramos, dude. Oh Fucking novelas, bro. Boring, bro. Yeah. Hey, there's some good ones, dude. Yeah. What? Nah. I got into some. Oh, you're you're forced to watch yeah. them, bro. Yeah, yeah, you're never going to go. If you really liked them, right? If you really liked them, I wouldn't watch you'd yeah. be seeking out, seeking out a novela, right? You're, I think you'd be right having the that. t-shirt, dude. Yeah. Uh, what, what, dos mujeres, un camino. Uh -huh. Dos mujeres, dos un mujeres. pepino. <laughs> You know, uh, I was watching. I was watching a video clip of fucking they were interviewing uh, Eric Estrada in Spanish. That guy could barely fucking uh, Dude, speak no, any he, Spanish. He, he barely no speak Spanish. English. <laughs> he cause he was learning Spanish as he did the novela. Dude, he's not how to speak Spanish yeah. phonetically. Yeah, because yeah. he said he only spoke like Puerto Rican, like street Spanish, and like fucking <laughs> in Harlem. Dude. Yo, Hancho, give me the knife. <laughs> La navaja. <laughs> Did you, man, I knew he was horrible in Spanish when he had to play a Chicano on fucking um, on chips. Oh, he was yeah. part of a gang, and uh, the gang was called Los Condores. Condores? The fucking Condores. Condores. Oh, Condores. Oh, and, oh, and this gang, <laughs> not like any of Cholo gang, but motherfucker, they were all black belts. Yeah, God, but damn, I, I think that right there is when it cemented the hate with Mexican Americans in California yeah. hating on Puerto Ricans playing Mexican. Yeah. Ooh. Because yeah, I mean, he didn't play that solo with, right, bro. You can yeah. literally pinpoint it to that moment. Uh, like looking good, uh -huh. like homeboy. Um, that's like people. That was uh, you know that they let that shit slide. That's like ten years later, people threw a fit with fucking uh, Selena. I mean, J Lo playing a fucking Puerto Rican. Yeah. I right. mean, Selena playing. I, yeah. I remember when she was chosen to play that, but I guess there was no the, there was not enough social media, bro. I didn't hear. I didn't really hear the backlash. I remember, a little bit of the stir, right? I remember watching that uh, on Primer Impacto when they were casting. They're, they're, they casted a shitload of people. There's fucking like like guys dressed up as you know Selena, Selino, oh, Selino and Barnes, bro. <laughs> come on, bro. <laughs> it was crazy. It was a huge casting, a cattle call, you know. And then uh, they finally chose the fucking. Hey, but a cattle call is always bullshit because they already have the people yeah. chosen out. Have you done those cattle call? <sighs> Yeah, it's bullshit. I tried to do one for uh, they did uh, on your feet the Gloria Stefan musical. Oh they, damn! They, they, they ended up casting a girl that grew up with Gloria. There and they're go. probably That's just building. They're probably just building hype with the cattle car. Totally, you know? yeah, totally. Yeah. totally. Yeah. Everybody's totally. equal. Just try out for publicity yeah. right there. Yeah, right. Uh, just like that's coming standing. Oh um, yeah. man! Out of five thousand people. Yeah, yeah. Remember dude. the year before, like two the years before you did one, dude. it. And then Corey Holcomb line, was there. Right? He's all, uh, I'm going to come back. My manager got me an audition already, <laughs> so I don't got to wait in line. Y'all, <laughs> y'all, good luck. Oh, damn. You, you went in line. I remember watching that. <laughs> we were there. Mondo brought us burritos, dog. Yeah. <laughs> From, uh, dude. Wait, did you do it too? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll try to audition. Yeah. But what, what was that, that place in uh, Okie Dogs? <laughs> Okie Dogs. But, but, but when you got it, you had an audition with your agent, right? No, the the third time, yeah. Th yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, remember you actually got on TV on that one. You got because you made it to like the semifinals or whatever, or to the like you know get to the stage. I, I picked the... you up and you put your bike in my car, and I remember my trunk couldn't close because some fucking lady hit me in the back. Oh yeah, shit. this one is full. Got it, got yeah, it. Yeah, dude, that's oh, yeah. old. Ah, man, that's I know, Felipe. Ago, I feel so honored to be here, man. Like that's how I knew knew about you last comic standing, and it, you meant so much. Yeah, I mean, you still yeah. mean so much, but like that that's that was that was it. You may live. <laughs> <laughs> you may live. <laughs> no tienes miedo? Ya no tienes miedo? <laughs> Sometimes I meet people, bro, who still remember me winning. They tell me, man, like all fucked up after the show. Hell yeah. Man, we had a barbecue. <laughs> yeah, we had family dog. over. My brother worked for the city. He almost got fired because he was he was uh, forwarding mm -hmm. the number to all, everybody that worked for the city. And then um, this guy in, in, in Sacramento, he's a fireman named Blas, Cain Lopez's cousin. He almost got in trouble too because the, I know Blas. <laughs> he would um, forward my the the the, the, I guess the the calling number and for to vote for me to hundreds of people in the city. Hell yeah! Fuck and yeah, dude, that I had out. people who came out of prison telling me that they were voting for me in prison. Oh, oh that's insane! So this is if you got people used, in it like. People in prison who, who, who could call anybody, but they're voting <laughs> for me on last comic standing. Yeah, they're like, okay, you get, you get one call. Uh, I'm a fucking boat. I'm a boat. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm a. Uh -huh. I remember one of the episodes. I was yeah, I was booth. um, I was um number four. Vote for number four, right? Uh -huh. And uh, the, the the main gang in my neighborhood was Fourth Street, bro. Oh shit! And, and I went like this. 
the whole oh, street broke. Shit. And everybody said, that fool not for cuatro. Uh, what the uh, fuck? They didn't claim you. <laughs> That's like that cholo, you. bro. Don't film here, eh? Hey, hey, don't film me, bro. She oh said my God, they didn't dude. claim you. <laughs> There was this fucking dude. He was man in Coachella okay, Valley. Tell him about that cholo, bro. So it was like two weeks ago when we were at Coachella. It was me, this fool, and uh, Chris. Well, he has the video. Yeah, Chris is right. And then I was just trying to film the, 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 uh, the uh, TV with Felipe on it, right? Respect, Oh, I'm filming the Felipe. Dude, you got people in the background right here. Oh, 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 oh no, I, I'm filming up here. I wouldn't feel comfortable. I mean, can't be doing that shit. Why would? Can't be doing that shit. Oh no, it's because I, I gotta film the video for Felipe. That's why. Uh, I, I get paid I know, to do but it. These people are in the peripheral. You know what I mean? They can't peripheral. Do that, dude. Oh, that's peripheral. 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 This guy's in, like, what kind of fucking street rules are that, you know? <laughs> They're field rules, dog. Was he, like, trying to show off? Was he, was like, no. He, he just, it, like, these trolls have these but weird he, fucking, like, But he bought this guy a drink, head. so he kind of, like, had one, yeah. like, I got to tell yeah. him how to act. Fuck out of hey, here. You can't do that, Holmes. It's fucking, yeah, kind of, like, trying to, like, treat me like a mocoso, you know? Like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a good ass name for a little yeah. sketch of moco los, mocosos. los mocosos. But it was pretty much like a cholo from fucking yeah. uh, this fool, you know? Like, yeah, dude. Ah, dude. And I told this fool, and I told him for the out there, like fuck this guy, dude. If you're watching, fuck you. <laughs> See you next year. <laughs> snatch your ass up, huh? He's stupid, huh? Oh my god. Play it again, bro. I want to hear his voice. <laughs> oh my god. Can you go find those teachers? That's respect, dog. Oh, I'm filming the Felipe. Dude, you got people in the background right here. Oh, 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 oh no, I, I'm filming up here. I wouldn't feel comfortable. I mean, can't be doing that shit. Oh no, it's because I, I gotta film the video for Felipe. That's why uh, I, I get paid I know, to do but the... These people are in the peripheral, you know what I mean? Peripheral! Peripheral. That's, like that's, that's like a color, right? <laughs> Motherfucker got a nose without just saying that word. Oh. <laughs> you got lightheaded, huh? <laughs> uh. Fuck that guy, dude. Because cause I was right there at the bar. Call a nurse. And then he's like, hey, let me buy you a drink. All right, cool. And he was with this whole party. And then I was like, oh, I saw the, mar the, 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 the TV. Like, All right, let me fucking film this with Felipe right here, you know? And then fucking, that's when he came up to me. Hey, like he like put his arm around me. Hey, you can't fucking do it. Come with me. I'm like, fuck it this goes guy, to show dude. you, homie, nothing's free, Holmes. Like if I was like 21, I'd be like, all right, cool. You know, you're right, sir. You know, better. <laughs> But you know what? Perdón, skis, homie. <laughs> but you know what's up with you? Ever since Selena's dog, you haven't been backing down. Remember? Yeah, oh. ¿Qué vas a hacer, perro? Oh, exactly. This one got all tough. I'm like, whoa. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? A ver, a ver. Oh, because uh, <laughs> we're, we're, we're at uh, Visalia, right? The fox eater? No, it's Selena. And, and they're, they're kicking this girl out, but she didn't want to get off her chair. She's drunk so as they're fuck. So she's <laughs> sitting on the chair. She's sleeping on the chair? And two security oh. guards are dragging her out while she's sitting on the chair. And I'm filming how? Oh, like, oh, like, dude. Dude. How are you not gonna she's film that? They're the kicking out. her out. She's being thrown out like Hannibal Lecter. How, yeah, how are you not gonna film her being dragged down <laughs> on a fucking a chair from the you know? <laughs> so then I was filming and like her fucking uh, the people that she was with. They're like, hey, keep filming, bro. Like I, I forgot. It lasts longer. I don't know if he's trying to fucking say a one liner. He's like, <laughs> and then he's like, I hope you're having fun. I'm like, and it's something he says something. I'm like, ¿Qué vas a hacer, perro? And I don't no, know. He just said, hey, you gotta stop filming, bro. That's uh, that's my family. Oh, I was like, you can. And then this fuck is all. And this fool just snaps into like fucking ¿Qué vas a hacer mode. Oh shit. Comes, <laughs> but then I, I, but the reason I said that's because the the security was there. You know. Yeah. <laughs> it was funny though. That's a badass reaction though. Yeah. I have the video. Were you about so. to throw hands? What? No, no, I'm not gonna throw hands. What's up, fool? Podcast. Talking. Oh man, we were in San Jose Improv. On Friday night or Saturday night? When, when did Stephanie show up? Uh, she sort of showed up Saturday night. Well, Friday night, right after the show, like there's like, man, there's like a lot of people at that club. I don't care, man. That club, there's this club of the Tree from the Improv. Oh, my god. They gosh. were trying to change the name. They tried to add aprons to get a different clientele. <laughs> they tried to add forks, metal yeah. forks. Does same that, audience, same college crowd. Let's add olives to the drinks. <laughs> yeah, everybody gets El Olivo. Man. <laughs> Every night, every Friday night, every Saturday night, it looked like
all of San Jose is gonna fight the cops. Bump it. Yeah, dude. A spill out. There's like around two, 150 people. They're all drunk. They're all trying to pick up. They're all, they're, all, they're full of Hornudos. testosterone, brother. Horny. And the, train's and the train's coming. So there's a train right there. And like, there's <laughs> cops chilling. They're trying to pick up too. They're young yeah, yeah, yeah. cops. They're all young cops. And right around the corner, there's a bucket, po- even bigger party. Oh my people gosh. are coming out. The people dancing in the street like a music video. Yeah, yeah. yeah and. Yeah. There's this girl, she's a big fan, and she's selling um she's selling edibles. Yeah, she's selling street, edibles, yeah. she's selling cupcakes, and she's selling um rum or chata. Oh hell yeah. yeah. On the yeah. street. On the street you, yeah. Bro, there's yeah. Be, be, people there with thirty two hours. That sounds good, good, bro. Chata, Wait, bro. Where, where was this again? Huh? Yeah, it was pop- Yeah. Yeah. I, I filmed it on the video, uh, the one I sent. I Look it up. She baby. has some, she also has sangria too. Cause she gave me um she gave me um Some virgin sangria. Wrong, dog. It was pandemonium, bro. People were falling like on the floor. Oh, it was crazy. Dude. You filmed that there were, right before we got there. There was a these, there were these two um, <laughs> transgender women fighting. Yeah, yeah, they it, it was crazy head so, to head. So much oh, going yeah. on, dude. It was it was San Jose's <laughs> a vibe. You got that girl falling, right? I got the girl falling. San Jose's a vibe. You gotta fucking. <laughs> and me people bad, have probably. gotten fucking hit by the train in front of the nightclub. Holy how are you gonna? Fool's been murdered in front of that right, fucking nightclub, dog. Uh, right next to yeah. that girl's, um, tr- that girl that's selling the rum, rum chatas. There's two taco trucks and a hot dog Ooh. truck, and then her little paisa lady selling hot dogs. Bomb. Man, but they're fucking people getting fucking throwing up everywhere. Yeah, dude. San Jose. Last year, Too many remember, mai tais, we, bro. we were walking, we were walking back to our hotel. And there's these two friends that are fighting each other. Remember, I, I caught, I made a video. I got a whole bunch of likes and views. Well, I was instigating them. Just kiss them already. Yeah, yeah. You were, <laughs> you were saying, kiss them, hit them, kiss them. <laughs> Get up in it, bro. It was, dude, San Jose is badass. Yeah, I like San Jose. Oh, we learned more about Bush this weekend, bro. We, his happened, father bro? was drafted by the major leagues, bro. Then he was sent really? to Vietnam. Damn. Yeah, dude. Get, get. Oh, another comedian, Butch Escobar, from ah. the Bay. Ah, one of those men that did everything in the world. Huh? <laughs> oh, wow. Is that what you're Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Like, Michelle, oh, Michelle, wow. Like, who are you talking about? <laughs> it's like, wait. Quien sabe. So, what else you got going on besides who, um, this fool? Uh, I just did a play at the Geffen Playhouse, and I am recording a Disney animation that I'm really excited about. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations. There's something else I want to tell you guys about, but I can't talk about it yet because it hasn't been announced. We don't have enough listeners. Tell us. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from originally? I was born in Howard Park before I was cute. Oh. What street? Uh, it was deadly, huh? Are you in Tipton Way? By the bowling alley? Figueroa? No. Other way. But uh, to El Atacor or uh, oh, also right, right in front of um, no, yeah, yeah, La by Cuevita? the bl- where the painting of the Jesus is by Fulieros. Oh, they're by La mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. But I grew up all over the place Anaheim, Fullerton, and then crime, went, bro. yeah, and a crime, and then I finished high school in Arizona. Oh, shit. where uh, Tucson, shout out to everybody in Tucson, Tucson, I think I'm coming over there. When? Make sure EG stays open. Hell yeah. January. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, damn. I'm going to be there. Tickets go on sale next week. Tickets go on sale next week. So, Sawaito, right? This Friday. Sawaito Casino this Friday. Desert Diamond Casino. Desert Diamond Casino, man. In Arizona? I remember going to the casino when there was a tent. Damn, dude. I like started, dude. Fucking Circo, homie. Tucson, Arizona, man. That was the first place I ever had. Um, Fries with ranch and bacon bits. Damn, that's that shit's Bro, good. Bro, before dude. there, before I ever go to Tucson, I've never eaten ranch. I've never really? had ranch. I've never thought about eating ranch. It's a life changer. I bro. hate it. It's good. I, dude. I hate Fuck it. Fuck yeah. Oh, dog. bro, let me tell you, I grew up with the worst dressing ever, bro. French dressing. <laughs> oh yeah, that's pretty bad. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Because that's basically like uh, blue cheese dressing, right? Yeah. Ranch? No, no French. French no. is horrible, bro. Yeah. It's orange. Uh huh. Is it? Yeah. But it doesn't have that taste. Doesn't it have little <laughs> chunks of cheese in there or nothing? No. No, it's sad, bro. It's like ghetto Thousand Islands? Yeah, it's sweet and sour. I don't mind. I don't remember. Wait, why'd you I come heard it. Because that's what we had in elementary school. Oh, okay. Yeah, French dressing was the dressing back then. That's yeah, French yeah. dressing was the dressing that everybody that was a, had. That was it was the poor man Thousand Island. Yeah. 
Cause I remember, I, I, I remember, I, I would see kids in high school eating, you know, their fries with French, and uh, now, and then when I tried it, I'm like, dude, this is like you said, it's a game me, changer. Nobody put fresh dressing on their fries, bro. It's good. And, and I remember dressing? high school, they did it, dude. It was a, it was a scene, dude. No, you mean ranch? Ranch, ranch, yeah. ranch dressing. Yeah, 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 ranch. Bro, I almost did what you did the other day. What did I, I do? put a pen in my ear. You put a pen in your ear. What happened to you, fool? They, bro, I felt like a, like a pimple, a pimple, or a blackhead oh. in my ear. Cause I, I was with a Q-tip, and I went ah, like it, it hurt, right? Oh, yeah, Probably oh, had a shit. zit in there or something, dude. I have forget, I forgot how to bust cut like that. <laughs> Holy Wait, shit. what's happening here? Oh, so okay, is that a tampon? We, we, I feel like if, <laughs> I, if it was episode, we gotta catch up, Michelle. <laughs> tell her, bro, tell her. I was Philly, bro. Like a month ago, we're in Philly, and then I was I had an itch in my ear. I was scratching myself with the a hotel niche. pin, a and then the 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 hotel pin, yeah. The felt pin, and then the the, the tip of the pen and got stuck in my ear. A little, little tip, a little tip. silver part. Oh, I see a video? Wait. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I sent the whole video. I, I, I was panicking. Yeah, I was going to bounce that my ear hole. Down, yeah. good, that bro. part, that part, that silver part. The, <gasps> oh, my God. It, got, it, it was inside my ear. It's, it got, and then what'd you do? And then I was freaking out. I was like, I was. I never panicked in my life. So I went to the CVS down the... We're in Philly. I went to the CVS down the street. I bought tweezers. I don't know how fucking expensive tweezers <laughs> were. And I was contemplating how to... How, should I steal these fucking tweezers? <laughs> Even though there's fucking something stuck in my ear, I I, I was stabbing my ear trying to get it out. I finally got it out, and uh, it was with uh, the tweezers. Yeah. You didn't just like do the uh, whole like water in the I ear. I know. I tried. I, know. I, tried, I tried everything. You just swung this fool. That's me like panicking. I was feeling myself. You're staying in a out. nice room, bro. It looks abandoned now. Right? I, yeah. <laughs> Chernobyl, bro. That's wow. That's that was a ghetto ass pen. I was like, yeah, that pen. I'm gonna sue that fucking yeah. hotel for that shitty ass pen. Dude. You need to sue yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, I was playing, uh, uh, like, I felt my, that little pain. I said, then I was thinking about it. Wait a minute, man. What am I, an idiot? I'm gonna put a pain in there, too. What am I, Martin? So I was telling what Lisa, I man. I, told, I was telling Lisa, I was trying to, uh, like, uh, I was trying to do a surge. I was telling Lisa, my wife, I said, man, you gotta get some hot water and put these two Q tips in there. And shove it in my ear and squeeze that motherfucker. Ooh, what was it? Was it a pimple or a blackhead? I don't know, man. She don't want to look. <laughs> you gotta let you gotta Ooh, let it ride. Gotta let I've it had cook. that before. You gotta let it cook. I was going crazy one time because it's like <clears throat> underneath the surface of the ear skin. Yeah. So you just leave it alone. And they're yeah. extra painful. So what kind of acne you have in your ear? Uh, a couple blackheads. <laughs> get a little spoon, yeah, huh? Baby yeah. spoon, and get it out. No, you use a bobby pin. A bo- it feels good. The right? other side. Uh, yeah. So what my gotcha. sister used to do. She knows what's up. Mm-hmm. I think I, I I I had a <clears throat> someone had a big blackhead growing up, and I remember I used bobby pins, Hell and, yeah. and that fool was screaming, bro. Yeah. Fucking screaming! It was so painful. But how satisfying was it? Because I think it was painful because also that bobby pin I found in the trash. <laughs> oh, but you, it's painful if you, you do it wrong because if you touch it in the right spot, it just like it comes out, dude. Like mm-hmm. you know, like a horn out of a ram. Yes. Mm-hmm. Like when I the whole time I'm thinking about Doctor Pimple Popper. And I'm thinking about that little, pin, that little bobby pin she yeah. has. He goes, if I could just get that somewhere. Just... But you need to wait. You need to yeah. Until it surfaces. Yeah, let it cook. But the thing is, it's like if you're anxious, you want to get, because it's bothering yeah. you. Dude, my sister used to have her homegirls in the sun and put their heads up and they would take them out. I was like, what are these hoes doing, Delicious. dude? Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Getting the cream out. Going to save the cream for later. Uh, you end up like the queen and shit. So th- that play going on right now? I know. I wrapped that shit August 14th, and then I wasn't able to go to the This Fool premiere. Oh, damn. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. But You're out there working, though. I'm out there. I'm out here in these streets. Before well, this this Fool, you were on, you were in the commercials? Commercials, couple couple guest stars and stuff. Yeah. Who are you guest star on? Uh, I guest starred on CBS Mom. Be positive, Tacoma FD. I think Damn. you should leave on Netflix. Did you guys yeah. watch that one? I, d- I did. Yeah, I'm in. I'm gonna watch it again. Like, you should leave. I told that one show that it's I told really, you. It's that really Johnny good. Rocky recommended. So I'm in episode three. The sketch that I was in is with Tim Heidecker. On the day of, it was supposed to be Zach Galifianakis, but I don't know what the fuck happened. But it was a blast. Yeah, the show's great. Is that Tim, Tim Robinson. That one with that old man is funny, dog. Which one? Oh, the stinky. <laughs> yeah, you have to marry your mother-in-law. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, bro. From, uh, I couldn't even take the, it. it. Right, yes, yes, that fool. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. that the brothers in there too, dog. It's tight, yeah. dude. But yeah, that one sketch is retarded. Bro. Yeah. Super funny, dog. 
Yeah, man. Pura I'm a big car- fan. Pura ni <laughs> oh. This week, <clears throat> September 16, I'm going to be at Midland, Texas, the Wag- Wagner Noel Theater. September 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. Fresno, Merced, Visalia. Tickets at FelipeWorld.com. Tickets are going fast for that. <clears throat> October 7th, I'm coming to Humboldt, California. Arcata, California, to be specific. See you there. Bring some. October 14th through the 16th, I'll be at Chicago, Illinois. I'm going to be in Schaumburg, baby. October 21st Woo. through the 22nd, I'm going to be at the Blue Note Bar in Honolulu, Hawaii. Aloha, everybody. Yes, that's going to be fun. October 28th, I'm going to be at Napa, California. I'm pretty sure there's more gigs connected to that Napa show, but they're not on there. But uh, we'll see you there with my little friend, Steve Danner. Yeah, dude. Yeah, man. What's up? Tickets at FelipeWorld.com. Also, people who didn't get merch at FelipeWorld.com last week, we ran out. We ran out of fucking merch. Mer. Shout out to Larry Bubbles Brown. He's getting mm. old. Mer. He's a Freddy Cougar, bro. We gotta freeze him and freeze his sperm. We gotta we gotta clone that guy. Give me a glove with the knives, bro. Funny ass. So um right after Tucson, you, you went to college or you went straight to you, did you try stand up? <laughs> no, I went to LMU. I did theater and poli sci. Stand up, I've tried a couple times, but I mostly do like characters and stuff. And I was singing backup for the 88 show at the improv with Avery Pearson. Oh, oh Avery, Avery, the yeah. piano guy. The piano man. Yeah. yeah. So I was singing backup for him a lot. That's but fucking cool, dude. Anytime cool. I do live shit, it's, it's like too alternative. <laughs> yeah. It's like, belongs on Adult Swim. <laughs> it's not. It's true, though, man. It's not for the masses. Hilarious, dude. Hell yeah. That's awesome. Is it? <laughs> I was like, you're a soldier. You're over there wow. doing backups for a piano, dude. I mean, like, fuck, you are you're working, dude. You're doing backup dude. vocals. I'm you're like, putting it in. You're putting those hours in, dude. Improvising songs about chicken parmesan with Dane Cook. <laughs> My own. You, you auditioned for uh, this one? Uh, yeah. It just came like any other fucking audition. Uh, got a call back, and then I had to do the chemistry read from New Zealand over Zoom. You're in New Zealand? I was shooting a guest star on Mr. Corman, this Apple show. But I was like, how the Mr. fuck Mr. Corman, that that show with that guy from just, Nicaragua, right? Oh, con Arturo Castro. Mm-hmm. That's him, right? Yeah. You know the little girl that plays his daughter? Yeah, I, I played his baby mama. That the little, There's a little baby girl, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. That girl, well, she did my acting class. What yeah. Do you- what do you mean? You're the, in an acting class now? Yeah, with a little girl that starts in the show. She did my acting class. Oh, shit, that's Well, awesome. I'm not in an acting class with her, but we take the same acting oh, coach. Oh, 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 and gotcha, the little girl, she... I was gr- like... The little girl, she graduated from the from the Laugh Factory stand-up comedy camp. Oh, wow, cool. Yeah, wow. She, her mom listened to the show and learned about um, that um, my acting class on this show. And then when I met them at the acting class, I told them about the Laugh Factory. And That's they went amazing. to go. Her daughter Sorry, went to. I'm still imagining you and that little girl in her, the same acting class. No, we never been. We <laughs> ne- like, ready we to never, do our scene? We've never <laughs> been in the same, um, same room together. Uh, Just um, same coach. Yeah. You hook, you hook but she up. heard about this the acting class from this show, and then when I met the mom, I told her about the Laugh Factory stand up. The comedy program that they have over there. And then she went to learn stand up because of this show, and it's sad because well, I'm, I'm glad she's doing well because she was bullied. At her class, that's what she wanted. Uh-huh. Her, her, her really? mom wanted her. To, her mom wanted her to uh, learn comebacks or get confidence, because she was shy and she was, she was bullied. And one of her friends from the Laugh Factory camp committed suicide. But she was all bummed out about that. Oh so when I found out that she got she the, the, the show, yeah. it was badass. Dude, that's... it was her first yes. real credit, and yeah. it's an Apple show, and she killed wow. it. She I can't believe it, bro. She went to New Zealand, bro. About that's this. That little girl. That's yeah. what's up right there, bro. Yeah, but so anyway, I did the chemistry read from New Zealand, and I was like, how the fuck are we going to do a chemistry read over Zoom? I'd yeah. never met Chris before, and that was the first time we ever talked. That's so crazy. I think that little girl was doing stand-up with a devil, bro, at one time. <gasps> Oh, Is I know who you're talking about. Yeah, oh, I know who the fuck you're talking about. I think it's that little girl or her she's little young, sister. She's a young girl. Yeah. Yeah. Like uh, the cancer doll or something. Yeah. Damn. But she, she, yeah. She, yeah. she was doing stand-up with the devil for a while, but then... Um, I'm glad she broke away from yeah. that. Yeah. 
That's, that's tied man. up. Boom, that's boom, so cool. Boom, she yeah, she's TV. from LA, right? She's yeah, from LA. Yeah, that's so cool, dude. Yeah. Her mom would drive all the way from Chino or somewhere to, to um, Hollywood. Bro, I remember there's this one kid. Uh, his dad used to drive, uh, take him to all the open mics, like in flappers, and then he fucking. Dylan Garcia. No, no, and then he got uh, Joy Bragg, and then he got like on the Disney Channel, and then like so that was his name, dude, Joy Bragg. This kid was Stop like bragging, so, homie. He was so confident, and I'm like, okay, but then Where's like, he at now? he's he's like on a Disney Channel show or something like that. Yeah, he's big, yeah. Joy Bragg, I remember like his dad, and his dad was just like fucking like a uh, like just like pushing him to do comedy, and then fucking he's on the Disney Channel and all that shit. Is that the chubby kid? No, 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 no. He's got glasses. Gotta stop living in this car. Yeah, it's crazy. They're yeah, they're from like chill. LA or something like that. Yeah. So you went to New Zealand, and how long were you there for? For like a month and a half. What was that like to be out there on Dude, your day off? It was well, no, it was during the height of the pandemic. Oh. So I was in a I hardcore to lockdown. To, oh wow! I was in two weeks. Sucks. No, no, no. Two weeks in uh, the hotel room quarantining, and then came out to real life. No mask, no nothing. And this is when everyone at home was like still quarantining. So Masked it was crazy. up and scared. Yeah. It was crazy. There was no COVID over there. Because everybody was just, it was like very like contained, right? In New Zealand, they contained the shit out of it. Because yeah. yeah. our homeboy, yeah. Eddie Berto, right? Did you yeah. see a lot of Maoris over there? A lot of what? Maoris. Oh, the Maoris. Yeah, yeah. hell yeah. I, I learned a little bit, pero ya se me olvidó. But my first handshake out of that lockdown was Joseph Gordon-Levitt. And I was oh, like, wow. oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, shit, that was dude. crazy. That's a dude from Looper. Yes. Yeah, fucking Third Rock from the Sun, dude. Hell yeah. Grip of shit. Legend, dude. Bro, I saw the old ass movie last night, bro. Quali. With Macaulay Culkin. Saved. Saved. Oh, that's Which a good. That is that where he's, he plays a gay guy? He plays, no, he plays a, 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 a heterosexual guy in a wheelchair who's oh, okay. Christian. And, I haven't um, seen it. Mandy Moore's in it. Mandy Moore? Hardcore Christian movie, bro. Hardcore huh? movie. And um, during, in the movie, one, oh, of, the, one of the girls yeah, yeah, is. Check it out, one bro. of the guys is gay and they send him to that um, school where. The, the conversion, conversion yeah, 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 I've seen it. We're gonna get the gay out of you. But you gotta see it, bro. It's funny, man. Even if, if it's funny if you're Christian, and it's funny if you're not Christian too. Pray. Have you guys seen? Yeah, like, not even bashing. Have you guys seen the other son, Macaulay Culkin and Elijah yeah. Wood? When they're like little like, kids, little right? Kids, yeah. Wait, they're man, evil, huh? My favorite part was me freaking people? out. We throw that mannequin over the bridge. Yeah, because that weren't they throwing like rocks and stones? I seen that, dude. I seen that shit in the theater, bro. Oh wow. I remember. I thought I, I saw with Philip. Yeah. I was a kid. I didn't know the difference between that was a crazy that. fucking movie, dog. I was a kid. I didn't know the difference between that and fucking uh, Home Alone. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> He's just killing people for reals now. Put my clothes back on, sir. <laughs> fucking, he started throwing out bricks. Now he's fucking. Yeah, dude. That's and later just... on, killing drug addicts. <laughs> yeah. It's just gnarly, dude. Dude. Yeah, the movie brought up, but they're, they're, they're all in a Christian school. And, dude, it's fucking crazy, dog. Like, Totally Christian, bro. Like I don't know if you're hung around Christian people, but one of the guys is gay, and she don't want man. They they all, the girl passed off flyers to have a, a a powwow at her house so they could all pray for the gay away from that guy while he did there. While he's in that great conversion, they're all at this. Yeah, that's conver gay conversion therapy. Mm -hmm. That is indoctrination. Ain't no fucking way. Pray bro. the gay yeah. away. But um, when they when they talk to that dude on the phone, he goes like, "Who are you? I'm over here." And I'm gay conversion. It's awesome. My roommate, he's in here. He's in here for the same thing I am. Ah, that's hilarious, huh. dude. Let's connect. <laughs> BFS, bro. But friend. they will send <laughs> not, not just them, but they'll send like teenage pregnancy chicks. Oh, every like bad aspect of like adolescence. It was it was my continuation in high school. Like in all the bad kids. I know, bro. Like oh. I remember my high school, like all the pregnant chicks, bro. It didn't look weird till I got older. Yeah. Like, when I turned twenty two. And then I saw them when, as, as an adult. I yeah. Like, well, these are babies. Bro. At your at your yeah. schools, did you guys have a daycare or no? Hell yeah, bro. yeah. yeah we had a daycare we, we at had my one, school, yeah. dude. Yeah. Damn. But, and then Wait, C school, school was uh, North Vista High School in Riverside. But then all pregnancy. But C school was crazier, dog. I was what? substitute teaching over there. They're like chicks were all like pregnant. Like, what up? What are you gonna do later? We're gonna go drink forties in Homeboys yeah. Garage. I was like, what? They're all young, huh? Yeah, I was like, hell no, nah. bro. All these, I remember, I remember all these pregnant chicks were taking fucking sex ed class. Like, you guys are late. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. It's like that joke when you're with that ghetto chick. You saw a fucking woman to wear a condom if you want. Oh, that's, that's, <laughs> oh, that's an old one. Yeah, bro. Uh, it's I was a ten years ago dude but they had a sex education class on that in that movie and they just showed a male and a 
and a female, but they didn't show the body mm-hmm. parts. And then you just said, this is the male, this is the female. And then they turned the lights back on. That was it. <laughs> oh, my God. That ain't even sex ed, bro. They, they had to do it because of the city. It was sex gas, bro. What is it? <laughs> I remember when uh, a teacher for sex ed- education, the fifth grade, pulled out a, a condom. I was gonna say a pepino, but it pulled out a cucumber and started putting a condom on it. Everybody busted up. <laughs> she couldn't even finish it. Like we're like, what the? F-? I never <laughs> seen that. Yeah, cool. And mine, it was a banana. A banana. Yeah, a Damn. Banana. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, but it's like fuck. Like, mine was really? a camote, bro. Camote. Yeah, bro. <laughs> you fools were packing over there, dog. No? Like if you were packing in Boyle Heights, yeah, bro. I was like, wow. I'd never even seen a condom before. I was like, what the fuck is yeah. she doing? Hello. Yeah. But I mean, none of that stuff, bro. My mom had a bunch of contraceptives at the house, the foam, but I didn't know what that was. But I went at once. I read it, bro, and I realized what it was. I was trying to sell that shit at school, bro. <laughs> I took two, fool. Oh Anything my, my mom God. had that was like for women, I was salad dog. Okay, bargaining chips, eh? None of that shit, where my mom still had. One? My mom still has seven kids. <laughs> but did you know what it was? Were you like, guess what I got? Oh, no, I, I read it first. Jacket. Then I looked it up in a dictionary, and those those words were not in a dic- my dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> huh. He fucking read the Tropic yeah. of Cancer, huh? So it was big words. <laughs> but then um, I knew this crazy ass fool that fucked a lot. He told me. And he, he he bought it. He bought two bottles off me. Damn, he's so, cr- <laughs> he's so crazy. He That's a man up. right there, man, dog. Where is that for right now? We gotta <laughs> take me with you, big he's, dog. He's probably still driving a Volkswagen, bro. <laughs> oh, cool, huh? For real, dog. He just, bro. I'm gonna need that shit, eh? He, like, he's like 15, dog. Damn, he already dude. Like <laughs> Yeah. Not Knox 09, yes. What was that? It was a foam. <laughs> was I it like the sponge? Yeah, you put it in your vagina, I guess. The foam. They don't make that anymore, right? I don't even know about this foam. That doesn't yeah, work yeah. for Mexican vaginas, huh? Yeah. I, I, <laughs> bro, I, I, there was a comedian that used to say that. There was a comedian that used to say that um, all these women using the contraceptives, you know, you don't know what to do, what they're taking. But by the time I found out this, word, this girl was using the foam, I looked like a mad dog. <laughs> it's funny, bro. So you know that you know that pill was invented in Mexico, right? Yeah. Yeah. Pre- really? Yeah. Uh, the contraception pill. Yeah. Yeah. I learned it on TikTok. But it doesn't work on Mexicans, bro. Like, yeah. That's funny. Oh, like, you gotta take it. Yeah. yeah. Like, Do you guys know the Caesar salad was invented in Tijuana? Which yeah, one? we're next to Hong yeah, Kong. Yeah. Yeah. Right yeah. Next to Hong Kong. Yeah. I don't know yeah. about all Caesar that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get your to- get your salad toss, bro. Again. What's up, fool? So well, um, so you did a banana in your school, right? Mm-hmm. Hello, were you, were your school, nothing. I don't remember. He blocked it out. Like, <laughs> like, like you ask kids these days, oh no, they pulled out a real dick. Yeah. You know? Whoa. Okay, uh, huh. Those dildos that stick on the fucking wall. Did you guys have the Dare, <laughs> dare program? No. What? Yeah, yeah. Dare, dare, dare program. Took, yeah, yeah, Dare. That yeah. shit made me want to do drugs. Yeah, like, yeah, it was like these good. are the side effects. You know ecstasy. what's? You know what's funny about that? <laughs> Euphoria. They, they had yeah. a cop come to our school and they're showing us needles and shit. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. what the fuck, yeah. dude? I thought I just all I knew about is weed. That's yeah, all, yeah, I knew, yeah. that's all I knew Why about. Why you talking about other shit? Yeah. Yeah. Beer and shit, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. But I was like, needles and then like pipes, all type of like, what the f- Psychedelics? Yeah. What's yeah. that? Yeah. A tab? It's like, really, dude? And the line was a fucking mascot for fucking dare with no <laughs> with no pants? Like, what the fuck, dude? Well, at, at our school? <laughs> fuck, dude. No pants. At our school, I guess there was a big major earthquake. So they were teaching us how to smell um, gas. Like, if you smell shit. Natural gas. gas. Natural gas. Oh, you had leaks. It was badass, dude. The fireman showed up. And he fucking gave everybody a scratch and sniff fucking of head, gas, right? bro. So I fucking scratched it. I, I waited for everybody to scratch theirs. I go, let me smell yours. Like, I don't want to scratch mine. I want to stay mine for later. Let me smell yours. <laughs> so it's more like gas. All right, eh? They wanna, they, they, what, uh, huh? No, like natural gas. Natural gas. Because that was the whole thing with yeah. earthquakes in California. Like if they yeah, burst, so they can kill you. Oh. It, so I, it was smelling, bro. It smelled like the oven gas, you know, the natural gas. And the only reason that shit smells, smells like cooking, so it doesn't bro. kill you, bro. I, <laughs> saved my bro. I thought maybe I could light that shit on fire or something. Like, it goes, so it was like so, some. <laughs> damn. I thought you were going to end up like that fool with like the brick I thought face. that I was going to take my little fucking, my little gas thing and be like a magician, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you thought, though. But that shit burned like a regular paper, dog. <laughs> No, they go see. I'm starting a fire with that shit. <laughs> over here doing magic tricks and shit. That's my biggest hallway. fear always, bro. Starting a fire by accident. Yeah, yeah that'll suck. Because I already started three of them, you know. You ever forgot like the? You ever forgot? Fires like, fuck shit ever, up. I I forgot uh, the stove. You know, like, I forgot about the stove and it's like still like on. Wait, what do you mean? Uh, leaving the stove on. Uh-huh. Isn't that how you warm up the house during wintertime? No, I I just forgot. 
Yeah, get yeah. ready for the surge. I got because I was like cooking some tortillas and I, I walked away and then like I came back downstairs like twenty minutes later. Oh, and it, it was still on. Like, oh fuck, dude! It was oh, crazy, dude. It just, that shit happens, bro. Huh? Yeah, I forgot about the fucking stove. It was on uh, the, the the flame. But was the flame on? You put a pen on it. And they're safe. Oh, I don't know, man. I don't, Did yeah. you stick a pen in it? <laughs> it's all, like what you like. <laughs> you light a cigarette or you you know break a lighter or some shit. Damn. Where, where are your parents from? Mi mamá es de Sonora y mi papá es de Tijuana. Oh shit. Orale. Uh -huh. Same here. Hell yeah. My parents are from, my grandparents are from Sonora, my mom from Sinaloa. Ah, oh, okay. And not most of my dad's family members live in Tijuana. Colonia 13, shout out. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah, dude. Also, I have a dark uncle in um, La Mesa. <laughs> La Mesa. <laughs> El Prieto. Yeah, Tijuana. bro. I feel like, I feel like Gaddafi. <laughs> <laughs> But it's funny when people call Qaddafi that. Qaddafi wasn't even really that dark, bro. C compared to him. Some, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but like a dark fool is like, you know, those fools from Delhi and shit. Remember? The, that, that fool at the airport, like the Indian fool is like, this fool swears he's in black. <laughs> uh, this fool I saw a, a documentary about that, about, about pigmentation. Of people are from India who are really dark mm -hmm. but have natural hair like me. And um, no afro. And... Um, the, there's, there's still those people are still um, they're not the same as regular Indian people who are brown like this. They're discriminated against. That caste really? system, bro. Caste system. That shit's Man, fucking hardcore. That's crazy, dude. Damn. But I didn't know none of that. Like, um, like I was watching this video about Dominicans. You know, like the majority of Dominicans. I don't care who you meet, they always say they're not black. No, so mm -hmm. you're, you're also Dominicano. But I didn't know why till I looked to the TikTok video. I saw it. that same one. Ah, yeah, yeah. The guy was like, quick, yeah. A lot, a lot of like Afro Latinos can say they're not black, right? Yeah. Be because of being black is an American thing. Exactly. Right, but, right. but black Americans, African Americans, they don't know that, bro. They get so mad that um, you know, like, and also Mexican Americans too. Like when the, when the guy is half white, half Mexican, like Mestizo. we expect him to be only Mexican, like. Or, yeah. We're ex like we expect him to be only Mexican. Like like we want like really we're he's supposed to forget that he's white too. Yeah, we need like, somebody we're, to we're, talk we're, to we're Big gonna, Al, bro. We're gonna rob him of his whiteness. Like you know what I mean? We get well, so mad. We should let white him go. Mix, they're never recognized as white. Yeah, 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 yeah but yeah. but the, yeah. the black. They never recognize as they never recognize as white, and they never recognize as black from the the same black people. Like like if a person that really likes skin it, he might say. Even the, the darkest motherfucking black people like Michael Black said, oh, man, you ain't real black. <laughs> yeah. Always. You ain't real black. Yeah, I'm continent black. The only person that... Let's say Pui. Right? Yeah. Pui. Yeah, the, the only people that know you're really black are the cops. Bottom line, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they see them culturally. As yeah, culturally. Yeah. But they don't know, like, you know, like, you know, like that... Uh... Well, anyway, she was saying that... Um, the reason... She's saying that... Um, when they were... Like in the, the Dominican... Like, like in the Dominican Republic, all right? Like here in America, oh, there was no mixing of, of, of races. Like, oh, you couldn't fuck no Indian, bro. Or you couldn't fuck with a black dude. There's no it's against the law. Stuff, There's no yeah. interracial. But in the Dominican Republic, it's open interracial. Yeah. They, like the Spaniards wanted their seed everywhere in that land because they wanted to um, wipe them out because not, they knew that they're not going to kill them all, but we could uh, fuck them all to extinction. So that's why it there's a lot of inter interracial in the Dominican Republic. So that's why later on when it, it got out of hand, she said that it became this. Watch. She's light-skinned it. So she hooks over the white guy, and that baby comes out. That person, that baby is going to be closer to white than she, than she will ever be. And then the next baby, that baby hooks over the white girl, and that baby is going to be considered white it now. It gets like diluted, the it's DNA. Gonna, it's it's going to be considered yeah. white now. But she said... That if she were to hook up with a black dude, okay. that baby would be Octoroon, and it which means that he will have to start all over Damn, in the dude. in the caste system. So he will never be considered white ever. That baby will never be white. And that's right. why after all of this, Dominican Republic said a la verga with all this. We're Afro Latino and that's it. And we're Dominican. Mm -hmm. We're we're proud to be Dominican. That's crazy. Yeah, but dude. that's the whole thing. Even like here with like the slave that like Thomas Jefferson had like half breeds or whatever. As long as your hair is kinked up, you're like no matter how light you are, you're still over there with like the slaves. Yeah, yeah. But it's crazy to do like they, they broke, broke it, the chart that she was showing Some is colonial huge, shit, bro. bro. Like Octoroon. And there was another one called that was called Reverso. 
like you're going back, like it's oh, reversed. Oh yeah, yeah. The one you said earlier. The Wait, example. these are actual terms. Yeah. Related to the Spaniard colonists. Oh wow. Spaniards Col- like colonism. Like, I guess Spaniards in colorism. Colorism. Yeah, because even like they subjugate themselves with like you know being croyos and all that shit. Like Creos. you know same thing with Britain fools being born here and all that. Mestiz- and mestizos. Mestizo. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a mix. Uh-huh. The first Mexican is Hernán Cortés' son, Martín Cortés, with fucking Malinche or whatever the fuck. What about oh, I, I read that uh, I, daughter? I read that somewhere that um, that's why you get so many different like last names that sound the same. You know, like um, like oh yeah, Quintana or Quintana. That was the original last yeah. name, Quintana, right? Oh. But then later on, you know, like okay, too many Native Americans were, were Quintana, so now it's fucking Quinto. Which is the f- quinto is that the fifth generation after the original Quintana they started them yeah. started yeah. them quinto Quintanilla. and then Quino- and then uh-huh. Quiñones came after quinto Quintero? yeah Quintero uh-huh. after them um, Quintanilla yeah the, the further away you got from Spain the it further changes. away your name changed from Quintana wow. we, were, we were looking up the, our our family crest names and then uh, yes Barza I didn't Hispana. know that yeah. Rizzo is comes from the name. Curly. Curly like hair. Rizzo, Pes- oh, Pelo Rizzo. Uh-huh. I have no idea. Esparza is, uh, what's it called? It comes from Espada, Espada. Spear. Espada. Yes. Uh-huh. And we're the protectors of the Boscan territory. And then Butch Escobar. Escobar? Escobar is broom. He's a sweep. Mm-hmm. His, so his, um, his family were, were janitors. His family tree <laughs> has two sweeps. They come from maids. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, last names usually come from, like, people's trades or what people do, you know? Torres yeah. probably come from uh, the, the hills the, the or the Torres. Las Torres. Las tor- no, oh, a building, no me right? la historia de Ortiz. Yeah, but the whole oh, thing, too, is, like, if like how Ortiz, far are you removed up. from that? Yeah. I mean, do you yeah. come from the original people or do you come from, like, some dude that had a pack of slaves and then just gave you the name of the slave master? Yeah. I mean, like, how fast could you, like, or how far could you trace your, like, where the fuck you come from? Yeah, yeah. Most people can't. They go to Ancestry.com. I thought I met a, I met a, a, a fan with a Esparza crest on the back, bro. Yeah. Damn, proud he, as he fuck, huh? On the back, bro. Like, yeesh. Hell yeah, dude. Probably the proud. All I, have was, all I have was child support, bro. I'm <laughs> an alfalfa farmer. <clears throat> so your dad is from here? No, de Tijuana. So he lives here now? What do you bueno, do for si a living? Ya. Oh, my dad. Oof. He's like a, he did fulfillment. He did like all the like hand work for press kits and like the sleeves of the DVDs and oh, stuff damn. like that. Yeah. So that shit's on the way out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. That's funny. My family, they did the sleeves for the LPs. Yeah. Yeah. He did that too. Yeah. My family did oh, yeah. the the sleeves for the bootleg DVDs. Yeah. He did that too. <laughs> My uncle did the bootlegs <laughs> in, in fucking Tijuana, bro. Fuck, yeah. dude. That's a business right there. The blue yeah. DVDs, bro. Like the, on the is, sidewalk. Yep. Hardcore. Bro, yeah. The rap, bro. The, the the job that her dad had, he had that shit in the 90s, huh? Like eight, mm-hmm. late, early 80, late 80s. 80s, 90s. Yeah. I, there was a lot of jobs for that. Um, it was called die cutting. Di- yes. Oh, my God. Yeah. Because I used to, right there where I used to, where I grew up, there was a company called Shamrock. Uh-huh. And they did that. Still around. They did, um. Like every press package you see for the movies, they yes. would do it there, and there was a machine that would fold it up yep. and fold the folders together, and that's how you did all day, bro. The, you you would cut the paper so it could be perfectly the folded yep. at that. the movie theaters. Yep, mm. yeah, that's what all he does. day. Yeah, and the real job was the guy who actually printed it, though. But that's somebody smart. Yeah. But it's crazy to think about like packaging still. Yeah. Like eventually this shit is gonna die down. Yeah. But ahí está una María. Yeah. La shit's all digital yeah. now. You know what I mean? yeah. Dude, Crazy. it's funny how like that job your dad does. I don't know if that, that people still do that, but it was it was available everywhere. And now career, big city job. And now that job is something that you could probably outsource now. Yeah, yeah. they're all going to India, yeah. Yeah. Nobody, China. There ain't nobody doing that right yeah. now. Just Except like in for that, my dad. just like in that <laughs> Korean movie, bro. Remember they were just making those boxes all day. Cost yeah. too much money here, bro. Yeah. Like remember that Korean movie we saw when they were all poor. And they go. They, they gave them. A, they, that lady showed up with a truck, and they had to make those boxes that's all day, all fucking day, dude. For as long as it lasts. Like, look at how crazy this is. Like, so all of them, SAG, the whole family. For SAG, they give you screeners every year, right? Yeah. My, and my dad's been doing them for the last five years, like putting the just putting the DVD in the sleeve. That's those look it. nice. I'm gonna start yeah. asking for the DVD again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hard copy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but. You, yeah, man. I think I think um, SAG is the only one and um, that actually makes DVD covers anymore. Yeah. 
They're all digital now. For indie yeah. movies, right? Like that, you know, like yeah, they just send you a link now. Yeah, you're right. Have you're, a code. you're right about her. Her dad had a job, but there's so many cheap ass companies that outsource that, bro, and give Fuck it to yeah. like, like I could, I could tell these companies, man, if you don't, and I, I'll give me the money. Then I hire a fucking and go to Home Depot and get a bunch of people just to uh-huh. fold boxes all day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Make it right. Because the whole thing, too, is like I remember when shit went digital to like iTunes, more of a streaming service. And people's like, so what the fuck's going to happen to liner notes? <laughs> and then they started bitching. <laughs> oh, going, Lisa. Dude, that's a whole fucking. E- they're putting people out of work. It's like, doesn't matter, bro. Liner notes are kind of over now. In a I weird know, little man. way. No, it's like that's Lightning how that, that goes back to like talking about if you're a fan of somebody, you know fucking yeah. everything. The pictures, everything is cut out. The what he lyrics. looks like, how tall he is, dude. Fucking when this shit was released, the date it dropped yeah. on a Tuesday. That's why I, I hate fucking fake fans, dude. It drives yeah. me fucking crazy. Yeah, dude. man. I remember when I, we, back in the day when you I would buy like a, a, like if you were to get like a, like a, the, 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 this full Hulu. DVD edition. It's just that this full Hulu will come out, bro. Yeah. Mm. Of course, that should be with. Season on three it'll discs. be with um, stickers of the whole cast, be, probably. Like, yeah. And it'll probably be like most likely there'll be a coupon in there to go get a to get to go get a cupcake from this fool from <laughs> yeah. a from a local cupcake place that we're making it. You know. Do you remember the first version of Superbad on DVD at Best Buy? It came with a fucking T-shirt. Lisa had the original <laughs> version of um, yeah, the, that's badass, the release dude. version of... Um, that's cool as fuck. Of South Park, bro. She got a real towel towel to I put on. Yeah. And I had chocolate salty balls. Salty salty oh, <laughs> Like as chocolate, right? I remember when they were on the infomercial. I never bought them, but I, was just, I, I do remember that. I the chocolate balls. They were a gift. Chocolate <laughs> balls. Yeah, and that's fucking, that's a mad incentive, especially if you're a fucking fan. I just remembered what the most interesting job is that my dad does. There's these Playboy trading cards that they still huh, print huh. out. Bring them next time. <laughs> no, 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 but check this out. There's a bunch of Marias <laughs> just cutting fabric to put it as if it's like a piece of underwear from the oh, Playboy. Oh, wow. Bunny. That's, yeah. that's very, this is that, that be she has that velvet voice. Yeah. <laughs> You oh can tell God, from a piece bro. of fabric. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> ¿Qué te pasa, viejo? No uh-huh. me estás picando. No. I know, man. Like, you, you, back in the, when you would get a DVD back in the days, they would have like deleted scenes. Yeah. Or, uh, extra shit. Or, 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 or you could watch this fool. Let's just say yeah, this fool was on release on DVD. Commentary. Yeah, commentary yeah, with commentary. Chris Estrada and Michelle Ortiz. Bloopers. Uh, and Frank Unione talking in a side, bro, about the scene. Yeah, the How producers the and shit and like, right. the actors and stuff. I was time. watching, cool, dude. Shit. Yeah, it was, bro. And you know what? Nowadays, there's podcasts, there are fan podcasts that will like comment on an episode of like, you know, The Whoa. Office and shit it like that. It goes back to the Sopranos part. The yeah. pot of Bing, huh? The pot of Bing. That's what or metal. Or although um, they should show the little pop ups, like give a little information. Yeah, about yeah, the movie. yeah. A little scene, real quick, a little picture, something, a little insight. And also a little piece of. Fucking subtitles, homie. I can't fucking hear shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can only see Rasa. Yeah. Uh, uh, there's like this uh, guy on. Uh, there's a, this ad where they try like uh, tell people, you know, if you have a business, make a magazine for your business because it's like very, you know, you can send it to your fans. I'm like, who the fuck is still right, making The fans money? on the peripheral homes. <laughs> you know who's buying those magazines, bro? Yeah, that man. guy that was telling you to move, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I just over here not fucking calling back to that fucking dumbass total. So yeah. what else you got going on in the future? What's happening? Just back to auditioning, guys. I you're you're in Blue Beetle. What's going on? Oh my god! I just went to the NHMC awards. They gave that fool an award. It was tight. You Sweet. did? Yeah. What's what's, what's that? What's NH? What's that? National Hispanic Media Coalition. Man, we got more award shows than we do people in movies, bro. Damn, bro. Yeah. Yeah. We need to start a coalition, bro. They yeah. gave Sholo a award. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, for, for what? Like, for like breakout, breakout star. Wow. Yeah. For you know, bro, bro, for breakout pimple, bro. Yeah. 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 Glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Bring up <laughs> <laughs> that breakout ear. <laughs> I'm aware. I'm a, I'm a runner up with my fucking pimple in my ear. <laughs> Cauliflower cook. Rizzo. Gotta Trying to pop with the pen, dude. Uh, you, do you like hanging out with these parties? Uh, no. Especially if I like. No, nah, man, because then I get too trashed and then I don't remember. Like, I have, <laughs> man, I have you a get note, really I had a note section with all these people's emails and I was like, shit, what the fuck did we talk about? Who did I have to email? Me too. I don't like going either, bro. Like the red carpet and all that. I don't like going. 
I will say though, notes. on Monday I went to a, the Disney Emmys after party, and I didn't even know Cheryl Lee Ralph won for Abbott Elementary. Oh, and I, I didn't even know who Cheryl Lee Ralph is. A fine you actress. Do. Yeah, she's an icon. But anyway, I didn't even know she you, won that. If you night. see her, you'll know who she is, bro. Trust she, me. Bueno pues, I fucking see her just because it's Cheryl Lee Ralph, and I passed by and I was like, "You're an icon, clink," and she like <laughs> gave it back to me, but I didn't even know she won. <laughs> so it was like, Ooh. "Congrats!" Yeah, it was a good moment. Who was that, Missy? Yeah. That's Ab Elementary. Uh, that's Kinta Bronson <clears throat> show. Yes, she won for best supporting in a comedy. I remember when Kenta first came to LA. Kenta Kuta Kenta? Kenta Bronson. Uh, King Kuta. The, the, the little. She's uh, the showrunner yeah. of that show, Abbott Elementary. She went and, viral and, uh, on Instagram for doing that character. He got, he's got money. Mm -hmm. And then she got so big that. She's on the uh, Black Girl Sketch Show. Yeah. Black the, Lady Sketch Kenta, show. her. So I remember. Uh, yeah, I, I used to I used to give her rides like you know like because she was a homie. Uh, on your like, back. <laughs> in, my, in my in my old Eclipse car, and then I remember uh, lift. I used to, no just a uh, homie, and then I remember uh, I used to print out her shirts because she people wanted her fucking uh, catchphrase, you know. So I used oh, to no print, yeah. I used to That's do what do catchphrase. Uh, he got money, a large, yeah. You guys are homies. Uh, I mean, I haven't talked to her like since like nine years, yeah. yeah. Almost. You didn't put a Seven block years, on her yeah. phone. She's killing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's crazy. Yeah, just how she got big off like Instagram overnight and then Yeah, he got money. Yeah, and then a large. It's pretty much like her going on dates with guys and she's being impressed like, "Oh my god." Yeah. And then like a guy or the guy orders like a large drink, a large. And then that was the uh, the catchphrase. That's yeah. awesome from that, huh? Yeah, I do. Yeah, that was in 2014 Killer, when she first came to LA. Yeah. But yeah, now she's the star creator yeah, showrunner of this Abbott Elementary show. Yeah. And it's doing well, right? That show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. one of a bunch of yeah. Yeah. Dude, I remember she used. To, I, I remember she. I used to pick her up from her uh, her house, and she shared like a fucking. She lived with like ten roommates. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude. Now like the whole alphabet. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Congrats, man. Fucking Kinta. there, man. That's fucking badass. Oh, yeah. That chick wants to want something too, right, Lizzo? Lizzo. The what she win? Oh, for the documentary. Mm -hmm. mm, tal vez. She thanks Eric Spears too. Oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's when that fool started trending when he trashed yeah. her, right? He said that um, they were asking him about about uh, rappers. Uh -huh. He was saying, "Man, they all trash." They go, "How about Lizzo?" And that fool put his head down. <laughs> and then his the, the the next line he said ruined his career. Oh man! He what said that he, he looked. She, come on, man! You probably take her seriously. She looks like the fucking shit emoji. <laughs> she yeah, got, no gloves on. Huh? So does he, though. Yeah, huh? you look. Like, so does he? Yeah, yeah I know, but chunky. yeah, looks, and then like I, 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 chunky but funky. Lizzo. I, I know, man. Eris Spirit be looking like um. He, 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 he picked up some binocular, bro. That had up ink on them, bro. <laughs> yeah, Eris Spirit looks like fucking like he's yeah, been. Damn, fucking uh. <laughs> Uh, what was his name in the movie? Big Worm coming Big in. Worm. Yeah, Big man. Big and, um, he, he went he went deep with that, and um, it went viral, of course. But that's what that's Eris Pierce's point is to go viral. So he just totally. thought it, he said, "Call the the she, he, she, man, she be looking at the shit emoji, right?" <laughs> and um, it went viral, bro. It went viral, and he was attacked. Multiply attacked by well, everybody. Fucking Lizzo got a big ass community, bro. Yeah, and then yeah. she went on to to the MTV Awards and won something, and then like um, she mentioned something about she big blah 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 blah, but she never mentioned Eric Spears. But she was speaking to him in that speech. Oh damn! Without mentioning his ass. Yeah, body shaming. I don't know, but I, it's funny. Like you see these these big women, you know, who are proud to be real big, you know. Real big, you know, and they're doing they're doing modeling and all that. But where's the love for fat ass man though, bitch? You know what I mean? I see you I see you dancing over there, you know, being big and being a model, BBW. But you never see these women over there showing, Oh, I love big men too. Yeah, praising the big they don't, man. Nobody praises the big fat man. It's uh. like it's like it's like we're pushed to the side now because everybody praising big women now. Mm -hmm. When are we gonna praise fat ass men? Yeah, the yeah. When is somebody gonna say, you know what, I can't wait to hook up with a guy with a waist forty six yeah. pants and a fucking length twenty nine length scene. <laughs> uh, the Tony Soprano. Uh, I of want the world. a man. With a bigger waist than he hit, than fucking legs. Yeah, <laughs> motherfucker looks like Charles S. Dutton. Like nobody's flaunting our big asses, you know. I I know people say, 
Well, there's there's dad bods. Yeah. What about dad... Gabriel Iglesias? He's fluffy. Yeah, but he's, a, he's sad, man. That guy has two <laughs> knee surgery, bro. He's a, <laughs> he's, a, he's a model for di- diabetes. Where's that uh, love for, uh, what's his Ralphie name? John a? Goodman. John Goodman. Yeah, but what I'm saying is that, when, uh, what I'm saying is that, like, you got yourself a BBW, right? And she's a supermodel. But she's fucking a skinny guy, too. <laughs> right, there she, no pl- she's there not keeping it real. She's keeping saying, it man. real. That's if you're a plus saying. model, you should be fucking plus size <laughs> men. <laughs> you be like, what are be... we gonna? What? What? what you gotta? What you gotta get? Fat men. You gotta. Be... And like, there's that's what I'm saying. It's like, there's plus women out there, and and they're like, but they want skinny men, you know. And then they get mad when fat ass dudes want skinny chicks. Yeah, yeah, I know. It, you know what a... I mean? Like, look at any big woman out there. She ain't dating Rodrigo Torres. I'm married. Mm, taken. I, I check. I, I check my phone. I check my message right now. Ain't no big chick hitting me up. <laughs> it, it's true though, but but that's that goes to show that everybody wants a skinny person. Somebody, yeah, we're programmed that way oh, yeah. since we're little, bro. What's hot is a thin person that's like glamorous and whatever. I mean, come on, dude. Or, or also like when people say like they're like, oh, they're fat. Like the women that are being fat shamed. Are the women that were skinny their whole lives, and they got into a car accident and now they're fat? They can't. Yeah. So they're not. They're not, they they're not used to being called a marana their whole oh, life. The lady from Top Gun. Lizzo. They got in a car accident at but, fucking Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah. Or, or like oh, Dick. I know Our girlfriend, one... dude, that's on fucking uh, Jackie Brown. Who? What happened to her? Oh, Why? she got big. Bridget bro. Fonda. Uh, we're not gonna talk about. We're not gonna mention her name again. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's it's true though, dude. What you're saying, dude, because like. I mean, dude, in the end, nobody wants to be with a fat motherfucker. And it's like, there's no more hate on a fat person that comes from another fat person. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that oh, crazy? What the really? fuck happened, bro? She was Danny Elfman, right? Danny Elfman, the she, composer of... Uh, fucking icon, Boingo, Boingo, yeah, and uh, a composer of everything. Uh, yeah. With Scissorhands, Batman, yeah. and all that stuff, yeah. Spider-Man. Like you see the the um, these heavy women, you know, in the run models, you know, doing these bikinis, walking all big and proud. That's great. But show a man too. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah. You're right. Show me yeah. in there. <laughs> show me in my thong. <laughs> this is how many people turn away. Yeah, you're Let's right. see some real fucking if you fucking put a real fat man in the same runway with a BBW girl. Uh-huh. I'm telling you, bro, p- people are going to go like this when they see the fat man. He want justice. He already There's stink. no love for the big man. <laughs> Time for like, equality. We need that dude right there, bro. New York Fashion <laughs> this Week. Fool, what about that thong Drago video we did? Drago right here, bro. What about that thong video we did in uh, Miami? <laughs> yeah, man. When a, gr- when a girl fucks a fat guy, he never goes out the front door. Could you, can you climb out my window, please? <laughs> 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 She'll commit suicide. If she can. Huh? <laughs> and fat guys are abused by skinny chicks, bro. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I need you right now for what? To give me a ride. You, you never watch out fucking Kina Queens. She was abusive. Oh, Leah yeah. Remini to Kevin James, dude. What's up, full party? What's your Instagram for? Chubby Chutes can hit you up. <gasps> With Michelle Ortiz. <laughs> Hell yeah. Michelle Ortiz Instagram. Yep. At Michelle Ortiz. Bam. There you go, supermodel. Hey. Orale. Plus size. <laughs> Scroll down to that purple dress, Philip. Where are you going? Where did you go with that dress on? Oh, that was just for that. Co- that was just for that cover. A little purple. That's moment. more like the real you right there in a the red one, huh? Oh, that's the Maggie look. Yeah, that's the Maggie bangs with the with the red her. The Maggie copete. Uh huh. Keeping that shit confidential. Did y'all go through like a punk phase growing up? Oh Evil. hell yeah, Emo? Oh, I'm still yeah. going through it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the whole explosion, dude, when Green Day blew up. Yeah. Emo, Fuck punk, you, rockers. High school. Yeah. yeah well, I was a skater guy, so like, I'm still a skater, oh, bro. Yeah. What's up, rockero? Que obo, wey. Que perro, que miras, wey. Que no mas. Eres rockero? Mm-hmm. Ni mais. Te gusta Uzi Uz, boy? Yeah, man. When you hear about fat shaming, it's always the women, bro. It's always about a woman, never about a guy. Yeah, they're being the victims, totally. Yeah. The only time I, the only time I heard about a male being fat shamed. Is when that real fat ass old man was dancing at Dodger Stadium and those skinny chicks were making fun of him laughing. Ah! And then it went viral. And then that fool was dancing at Dodger Stadium. <laughs> I was going to tell you, even in the Selena movie, there, even the, the fat sister, why do I got to play drums? And the dad's all, because you're fat, eh? No. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> Yay or nay? Are you with me? I auditioned for the Selena series. Oh, uh, on the Netflix? I auditioned for Selena. Oh, shit. Got a call back for Suzette. And then oh at the God. test, they were like, are you down to gain 20 pounds? And I was no like, no way. I was like, if I'm going to learn the drums, then I guess. <laughs> yeah. Damn, yeah. you're down, yeah. dude. Yeah. Did you get it? Obvio. <laughs> 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 20 that's uh, crazy or are they gonna pay you extra to gain weight I don't think so man uh, <laughs> and me play the drums eh? the, I auditioned for <laughs> the wig on my ass <laughs> <laughs> that show Not the so Selena good. show was the new Selena show was bashed so hard people yeah. were hating hard, because bro. they thought the Selena girl was not attractive enough Right? That's not why really. no, no for real hey, they did last they time we were at Corpus they Christi they put the flag down half yeah. staff yeah, yeah for real <laughs> Uh-huh. They're trashing that shit. Yeah, but people were shit. trashing it from Texas. Saying... They were saying that she's not from Texas. She's not pretty enough. So I had a bit about the show uh -huh. when I heard when I read all those articles and then all the fucking hate. The next day I did a show and I went like this. Yeah, man, I tried to audition for that Selena show for Yolanda. They said I was too cute. <laughs> 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 Bang! <laughs> I think they're saying she was too skinny, or she didn't have like a big booty. What like the, what bothered me is that she didn't sing. Yeah, like it was just that that you know. that that too. I think that was a main. Thing. I think they're just comparing uh, her flor. too much to uh, J Lo. You know, they wanted like a somebody to look like J Lo. Well, she, like, that was a staple, bro. Yeah, dude. Uh huh. Yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah. The redhead guy on Walking Dead, Eugene, the nerd. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was no bump on on that actress. No dump truck. Nothing. They could have faked it. Maybe, right? They could have put some padding. Yeah. Something. Yeah, What's right? up, food? This Thursday, <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm coming out in a music video with Re Reverie, so check that oh, out. Yeah, oh, yeah, dude. Sick New album. And Sick and Jackin from Psycho Realm. Oh, hell yeah. Could you and did that Fabian other video Alomar is in yeah, it too. Dude. What? Fabian, hell yeah. When is that coming out? A Thursday. I play a sketch artist in that movie. Hell, hell yeah. yeah. Video. Because yeah, you guys dude. were together in a reverie, reverie video, what, in the beginning of the year or like a little bit yeah. before? That was Cuckoo. That was Cuckoo's? That one? Oh, shit, dude. Okay, okay. Yeah, man. Which one? Tear it up, what song? Bro. I don't think I've seen it. Summertime is the time. Winter time. That I want to spend time with you. Summer. Yes, it's true. It's a good song. He came here playing a little ass piano. Melodica, dude. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna name my daughter Melodica, dude. It's actually a cool <laughs> name, dude. Yeah, it's a good name. Hmm? Uh, in October, we're gonna have that guy AFRO, the rapper kid. That's what's up. Black and Mexican. We're gonna have him on in October. Like that. Mexican. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Hell yeah. I'm blowing up lately. Willie Barcena? What's up, Food Podcast? Willie Barcena was on the George Lopez podcast. Legendary. Who's on this week? Yeah. Yes, Willie Barcena will be on next week here on the What's Up Fool podcast. Legend. Go check Whoa. that out, man. Legend. And also go watch Michelle Ortiz on This Fool on Hulu. Yeah, man. Go watch all 10 episodes. That show is fucking hilarious. Episode three, Super man. Funny, had me dying. That little, yeah. little ass kid from West Side Story. Little Two little fool. Yeah. yeah. That, that shit was fucking funny. Fucking He's a good ass yeah. actor, bro. And I, I that like was that. his first thing too. That fool's bad as fuck, yeah. dude. What's his name in real life? Oh no sé. Well, that little fool, bro. It's a way. Oh no. fuck, bro! When I was talking to Chris what? Estrada, he was telling me that those two kids that were with Frankie Jones, that they were assholes through the whole set, bro. His nephews? They were farting, bro. <laughs> they were. There was one day where they were they trying were, to trip the cameraman ass. and shit. Yeah, he said that one scene they were farting, goes, and then um, Frank finally got mad. Eh? God, these motherfuckers are shitting on themselves. He was like, hey, do you got to go to the bathroom, little homie? <laughs> <He's> like, <"No." laughs> but I understand those kids. They, they thought that the whole sh the movie was comedy, so we're going to be funny through the whole movie. Eh? Uh, fucking Monty Python over here. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like, man, working with um, baby actors' moms? Oh, my God. Well, they're dramatic. The mom, like, my son needs more lines. <laughs> no, I mean, the moms we got were fine. You know, they weren't like momagers. They weren't those types. My son, my <laughs> son needs character development. Bro, <laughs> I remember Amagers. I went to one. Of, Hysterical. Did you go to any gifting parties where they give you free shit? Uh, I've I, after Mad TV, but I haven't been to any recently. Those were the best ones. I don't have them no me. more. Yeah. COVID. I went yeah, to a gifting dude, and bro, I was getting free shit everywhere. Yeah. 
but I didn't really want free shit. But I wanted to get out of there. But I ran into, I was starstruck because it was when um, that that show was very popular. Um, Fresh off the boat. Uh huh. Oh hell yeah, that's a so better I was show. Like, Who'd you see? Oh my god, I saw the little Asian kid, the little small one, the the little player, and I saw the grandma. Right, and I went, oh my god, hell yeah. I watch the show all the time, right? <laughs> and then like, and there were there was some other kid, right? And then like. The little son from Cristela's show was there too, mm-hmm. mm. but I never watched that fucking show, I never bro. Saw right? Who so she was trying to, he, she was trying to take, introduce him to me, take a photo. I said, Charlie Holmes. I didn't know who the little kid is. <laughs> I don't want no fucking photo with a kid I don't know. So I said, Oh yeah, man! Congratulations, man! You're in a sitcom, a hot sitcom on ABC. It's on every week. Good luck for you. But let's talk about more about the fucking Fresh Off the Boat over here. <laughs> fresh Off the Boat's a bad ass show. Yeah. Yeah, but the mom was trying to get me to recognize him. <laughs> I don't watch family shows. Yeah. You have to know him, right? What's up, fool, man? Shout out to Momo Rodriguez, bro. What's up, that Momo? That motherfucker's pouring his heart out promoting George Lopez's show, and he's not even on it, dog. So that's, yeah. a, that's what I'm talking about. Street, dedication, street bro. That motherfucker uh, Art LeBeau that, shows, bro. I, I don't know. I don't know, man. Shout out to Momo Rodriguez, man. I, I don't know. This motherfucker, bro, will find a photo with him and anybody posted up. Like, like I don't know, man. Momo, I know you're lying, bro. <laughs> if you're listening right now, I know you're lying, bro. I met a lot of actors, and the only way they're going to give you advice if you ask them and you bog- bother mm-hmm. them. No actor has ever walked up to me, Felipe Esparza. Let me tell you about acting. No one. <laughs> And I work with the best, Eric Roberts. Let me give you some points. That motherfucker was doing five movies in one day. <laughs> Damn, bro, you fucking collected Showed up that in an RV. <laughs> so no, this right fool, yeah. man, this fool is sad, man. He puts a photo up <laughs> with fucking uh, Cedric Entertainer, George Lopez, blah, 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 blah. And then um, he goes, right, right here, I got the best advice from all these people. And it has really helped me. And then I, I emailed him, bro. I said, bro, don't be lying, dog. <laughs> you should post that up with a big eggplant, bro. <laughs> Homie, they're giving me the recipe to success, <laughs> Felipe. I know, bro. You live in Norwalk, homie. Yeah. Hey, I live in Norwalk. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Man. I moved, I moved I there. I call it how it is, bro. He's a friend of mine, but he's doing too much. Eh? I can't wait for my dad to die. Then it'll be my house. You <laughs> had a real big role on who, on fucking this fool, okay? Yeah. Real big role. Real big role. Yeah. yeah. But this guy had a very small role on Sons of Anarchy. And he it's walks up for to me and tells me. Did and he, you audition for this fool? I was surprised. I auditioned him. five times. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Wait, for real? Five different outfits. <laughs> who am I? <laughs> I auditioned twice. I'm everybody. Eh? For, wh- for who? For, for Frankie's, Frankie's part. character, yeah. And, and um, the, the, uh, Chris Estrada's brother-in-law. Nice. Yeah, the, bro- the boyfriend yeah. or husband. The boyfriend and husband. Okay. Well, hopefully season two. Hopefully. Still going to watch, though, because it's a good show. Good show. Funny, dude. Hey, we. Shout out to Caden Franco, the yeah, actor man. that plays that steals the show yeah. on episode three. I want a knife because I want him to feel it. That was hilarious, dude. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be it'll be the most annoying day ever. <laughs> getting to know the mom. He stabbed yeah. Felipe, huh? You're right. <laughs> that dude was natural. Some people are just natural like you, bro. Yeah, that when you put a thong, bro. It's over. Oh, dude, that video, <laughs> the thong. Wait, Pop that, that shit, video? Riz. Yeah. Where's that video at? No. no, no, no. <laughs> What's up, Food Podcast? Thank you very much <laughs> for listening this week. Everybody oh, yeah. who's listening and Gracias chatting. Michelle Ortiz, go check her out. Follow her on Instagram. Follow her home. What's up, Food? Rodrigo Torres right here. Yeah, oh, man. Fuck yeah. Oh, man, you know you were wearing that shirt that says, fuck all you. Fuck and all that, that y'all. That lady didn't let you in the airport. No, it was no, at the they Dodger. Lived in the Dodger spring tra- training game, the first, oh. the first game. Because they kicked the guy out out of the plane. He didn't want to take off his um, fuck Hillary or something oh my on God. the hat. Uh, the, what, that fuck, fuck Joe Biden hat? Yeah. God, at the that's airport? Crazy. Yeah, dude. Fuck it. Everybody's expressing themselves these days. Damn. Oh, my God. Before we go, man, What's shout up, out to um, Rashwater, Bush Escobar. What's going he on, took bro? me to um, the worst part of Oakland. <laughs> and it's called the... the 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 lower belows or the lower levels low, the lower levels neighborhood in Oakland and it, it's 
it's not like um you know how, how in LA there's homeless everywhere, right? But they're scattered all over the city. Yeah. yeah. This is the whole fucking like it looks like an academy? police academy, bro. The they're they're, they're, they're like under the freeway. And it's all homeless, bro. It's like, it's a, like there it row. is right there. I started bulldozing that right shit. There. I like, went there a couple weeks ago. Right? I was Damn, just there. Dude. I was there. But, but the they, cleaned it, they, they cleaned it up. Th- those houses went all the way to the bridge. I don't know. They look pretty legit Looks to like me. Yeah, family, man. Bro. It is horrible, bro. There's no lighting. There's nothing, dude. It's like, yeah, man. Right there, man. It's crazy. It's, it's being it's gentrified now. Um, gay, gay homeless people are moving in now. Yeah. What's up, Food Podcast? Thank you very much. Hell yeah. Martin Rizzo here, always with the tight pants. <laughs> Rodrigo Torre with the tight arms. Michelle Ortiz, what's up, Food? Thank you very much. Yeah, what's up, Food? What's up, Food? What's up, Food?